All right, we're gonna take a walk. See if I can maintain or if I'm gonna run out of energy. But Carl wants to get some rocks back here. And it is, I don't know. What time you got, Dan? Huh? Yeah, I forgot to look before I started recording. That's what I guess. They're following the rock thief. Yeah, the guy that's obsessed with rocks, especially free ones. What are you doing? <laughs> as good as Mr. Crowley. She's definitely as good as Mr. Crowley. Definitely cooler back here. I got that one trail cam right there. It's good on that little cherry tree. You can see it right from here. Okay. I do now. Trail camera. Got a picture of a bobcat. Not one of them from the past week or so. Luckily, we don't have to walk all the way out here. Because my legs aren't working too well. They just feel really freaking tired. Gorgeous night tonight, though. Look at that. Not a cloud. Got a deer, got a deer. Watching us, yep. There he goes. That's the first time uh, I've seen one myself walk, walking going. out here. Obviously, she didn't notice it either. That is a crazy ass bird. Is that a chicken or something? Yeah. Or duck or something they got over there? They got, yeah, they got birds. They got, they got a rooster. They know that every morning. That, is, that thing would be dinner. <laughs> I would not put up with listening to that. Sorry, excuse me. A little breezy tonight, though. You just gave your life for blood there, mosquito. I agree, Dan. I'm glad he's not using my truck either. Mm -hmm. Crazy. You didn't know Bigfoot drove a truck. But yeah, I put a dent. I see that. We need a pawbucket. Oh, yeah. Put a dent in there. 
Gorgeous out here tonight. Sunlight looks awesome. These I like. I don't want this one to get busted. How's this for smart guys? I'm gonna let them let them guys work. I'm gonna go explore. If I don't trip and break my neck. Man, my feet just don't work good anymore. Try to step over something. My brain thinks I've stepped high enough to clear it. And I haven't, and I trip over it. I have not fallen down though, but still, it's not a good feeling. Being clumsy when you're not normally is not a good feeling. Not see anything moving. I almost didn't come over here tonight. But I'm glad I did now. I'll get some exercise. Hopefully, I'll sleep better tonight for it. It's got an awesome little patch of woods here, that's for sure. That's as good as my zoom gets. But it's not too bad. Sorry, guys. Hi. Here I am. I'm going to try to stay on the trail so I don't trip on something. Wasn't for the noise they're making. It is quiet out here. Right over that way is where Carl and I heard that freaking weird growl. That one time. That was so weird because we did not hear that until we played back the video later. That wasn't even on Dan's property. It was on the adjoining property. The property line's like right in there somewhere. I must say I'm very happy with this phone. It takes incredibly good video. I'm trying to go really slow to give you guys a chance to see if you see anything. I'm going to pause it and head that way. Sorry, I was wrong. Back in there is where Carl and I 
heard that growl or whatever it was, which is way, way to the left. That's where I just was at. Come on, you hairy pricks. Give me something, would you? I don't care if you scare the crap out of me. Give me something. Dark spot on a tree. Wow, that looked bizarre. see anything moving I've been quiet enough if there's a deer over here though I might walk up on it there is a couple odd things over here where is it that bent tree right there is kind of unusual and a couple broken off trees nothing screaming evidence though somewhere I'll be back in a minute that's about as good as my whistle gets Don't know if I just heard a whistle or not. Could have been one of them though, if it was. They'd be smart ass enough to whistle back at me. Paul is supposed to come and join us tonight. He's not here yet. saw one deer this time. Well, Paul's not here yet. I forgot to tell you guys, I've been following the channel for a while. You might remember last summer 
Paul and I came over here to shoot our guns for the very first time. Dan and a couple of his friends were already here at the time. They had already been shooting. By the time Paul and I got here, we walked over there. The whole time we were walking that way, there was somebody, the guy that lives over here, his name was Jerry. He was screaming. Some of you probably remember that he was screaming and screaming and screaming about us shooting. We weren't doing anything wrong. He was just being a total a-hole. And he was an alcoholic. He was a horrible person. But uh, come to find out, we were over here two or three weeks ago and we found out he died. Go figure. He was uh, four years younger than me. If I showed you his picture, you would say he was ten years older than me. He looked horrible. I guess that's going to do it for now. If anything else goes on, I will be back. If not, thanks for watching and walking with me. Okay, I'm up. I'm on my second lap. I'll have to ask Dan if he knows how far it is to walk from there all the way back around and back to here. If anybody would know, I think he has one of them step counters. Probably good three quarters of a mile, I would guess. You need the exercise, guys. I'm getting fat. Ha. You know, I weighed. I have to weigh in every week. Get my blood test done every week. See the doctor every seven days and such. The last two times I weighed in, I weighed exactly to the ounce the same thing. Because I even said to the girl... Isn't that exactly what I weighed last week? She went back in the chart and looked. She goes, oh my God, you're right. That's exactly what you weighed last Tuesday. I'm like, well, that's a good thing. Because I've been eating crap. Ice cream, Cheetos. Because I know you can lose weight with this pretty easily. So I've not been afraid to eat whatever I want. And my blood works so all come back normal every single time. In fact, the doctors were quite surprised by that. I'm like, hey, I have good uh, good genes other than it makes, you know, except for the cancer that it produces. This poor, neglected, abused bear. Pretty bird. Stupid airplane. I really should prank them, but I can't think of anything good.